What do you like about Robert Beale Jr.'s skill set? Um, very explosive and very fast. Um, you know, it's uh, documented that he, he played a little bit of a hybrid role at uh, Georgia, which asked him to do a lot of different things. Uh, he's asked to rush the passer some, asked to play stand-up outside linebacker and do some dropping, um, stacked him off, apexed him some. So he's asked to do a lot of things. Um, the speed and the explosion out of his stance, uh, you know, the snaps that you did seem, you know, be able to really go and rush, like it, it, it jumps off the tape. Uh, you didn't see it all the time because of everything they were asking him to do, but that initial burst, that explosion, uh, the bend at the top of his rush, um, he, you know, very good young player that uh, has that skill set. You know, the first thing we look for is you, you got to have an explosive skill set to play in our scheme because we're asking you to be play explosive every single down. Um, and he showed that in um, one on the flashes that you've seen on his college tape and then some of the metrics that we do um, exemplified it and kind of just crossed the um, T's and dotted the I's on what we saw. The, the front scouting department has found a way to quantify what you're looking for. I guess that they call it the, the GTFO yep. metric. Is, is this the first stop that you've you've been at where the front office has, has been able to, to quantify exactly what you're looking for into a, a scouting tool? Yeah, yes, to be honest with you. Um, it's all, always kind of been an eyeball for me. Uh, my eye previous to here, but it's a metric that they, you know, they're constantly trying to, um, you know, find the next um, – next thing to help us in evaluating players and uh, you know it's just a good cross reference for us like you know you see an explosive player on tape and then the the metrics that you know we're grading that initial burst off the line of scrimmage you know the the ground that they're covering you know off their initial burst if it's a, if, if it checks off with what you're seeing on tape then there's a good chance you're going to have an explosive player you know and it's just kind of measuring the like i said the uh explosion and power they're getting off on that initial get off out of their stance for the first two to three yards so yeah does Ferrell have that explosive explosive element that you guys are looking for what do you see from Cleveland yeah yeah he does I mean one even um Cleveland is first you know he was drafted by Rod Marinelli in a 4-3 scheme um similar to what we do but not exact uh they don't quite play as much nine technique as we did but uh so his first couple of years he was allowed to play fast um, then, you know, got last year, last couple of years, he's kind of been in a hybrid type defense, which again, asking him to do a lot of different things from dropping and spine and just doing different things. Um, but yeah, the, the, the snaps that you saw him, you know, where he actually get, put his hand down and keying the ball and getting off, like you see that explosive initial twitch and uh, out of a stance, ability to cover ground quickly. And then he's just a really long player. Um, that I think can you know match up on the edge in the run game uh, for us with his with his length and his strength and his leverage that he can you know get under blockers and set really good edges and then a guy that as time goes on hone in on skill sets as a pass rusher that where he can you know use that length and um, long arms and um, things to really hone in on some of the things we're doing with him from a pass rush you know perspective and then you you know being able to u utilize his versatility I think. Um, I think uh, Klee has the ability to be a versatile player that can um, play outside, can move inside in certain situations. Uh, get passing downs, he can be an interior rusher. Two minute, we can slide him inside, uh, run some of our twist games with him. Um, really looking forward to, you know, what the future brings for him. And then, and then just the, the work ethic that you always hear about with Cleveland going from Clint all the way back to Clemson through Oakland, like just a relentless worker. You mentioned that over the years you've hit on guys like him who have who had success that maybe didn't elsewhere. Do you find at this point in your career that th that's known, like amongst defensive linemen, who like, hey, maybe I need a reset. I can go work with Chris Kasirik. Does, does that does that happen? Uh, <laughs> I, I'd like to think so. I hope so. <laughs> um, well, you know, it's um, kind of a reoccurring thing. So um, I think I see opportunities here, and you know, if it's it's got a match, you know. Um, to, to us, you know, actually wanting the skill set, but yeah, I'd, I'd hope that guys want to come here and play in the scheme that that we value and we see that could, you know, be another piece of the puzzle to, to you know, help us get to that ne next goal we're trying to get to. Does a guy like Cleveland mention something like that when he first meets you? Yeah, he did. Yeah, to be honest with you, yeah. um, 
you know, I've known a guy named Rod Marinelli, who's, you know, D-line coach in the NFL for a long time and coached a lot of really good D-lines. Um, Cleveland's, you know, close with him, and he had conversations. Rod had conversations with Cleveland and, you know, trying to find the, the right match for him just to be able to, you know, at least for one year go and really show the skill set that he truly has in his body. And, um, and then, you know, when I was speaking with Cleveland, he mentioned, mentioned that, and he said that Rod, you know, told him this would be a, you know, he had several other places he could have went, and Rod was, just said this would be a, you know, a good place to think about going. You know, didn't tell him what to do. You know, gave him his opinion on uh, the different places that he could have went, and uh, Clay ended up uh, choosing here, which is, which is awesome.